okay, 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 okay. Remember when I told you guys, like, if I happened to get that international award, that y'all would be some of the first to know? Okay, so I didn't, like, get it, get it, but, like, check this. I just wanted to be known that right now, I don't know if you could see it all the way at the top, but, like, right now, it is 11.33 a.m. I literally just got this email congratulations on spirit award top four finalist oh my god hello shane on behalf of tales of the cocktail foundation we would like to extend our heartfelt congratulations to indigenous women working in the mess in mezcal are ready to be recognized for their work by shana conde for wine enthusiasts for being named a 2024 spirit awards top four finalists for best cocktail and spirits writing for those of you who are like not, and it's totally fine if you're not, literally, no judging. Um, it is a relatively niche thing, but if you are in any way relate, interested in like spirits, beverage, bartending, cocktails, like Tales of the Cocktail is the end all be all for all things beverage and spirits. So it is just so, I didn't even know I was nominated. I didn't even know I was nominated. Uh, I mean, now we're friends, um, but when I first met her, I had no idea who she was, what was going on, right? <laughs> um, her name is Tiffany Barrier. Um, I always butcher her last name, and I, I, I'm a work on it, but she is, she's the winner of the, um, oh my goodness, ah, it's a different spirited award. Give me one second. The Visionary Award. She was the winner of the Visionary Award last year. She is a black woman. She is a lesbian woman. She is a black lesbian woman. She is beautiful. She is stunning. And she is one of the sweetest people that I've ever met. Like, especially within the... Because uh, the, the beverage and spirits and food and hospitality industry can have a lot of people that can be a little bit more full of themselves. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, but she and I connected immediately when um, we met last year at uh, Food and Wine Aspen. And she was one of the only people that I really connected with. The only, the other person that I really bonded with was Carla Hall. So I love both of them with my like whole heart. I haven't really kept in touch with Carla. I might send her an email just to be like, do you remember me? Because I still consider you an auntie. Um, but Tiffy and I, like, I was on a call with her when she got, when she found out that she won the Visionary Award. And then she nominated me for this piece of work that I did that I put my whole heart into. And if you guys are curious, I actually have an entire other um, video on here where I do like, uh, an expose of what it took to write this piece, not just to write it, but about what happened when I was in Mexico, all of the things that I wanted to put in the article, but because of the word count, like I didn't have the time to, but there's so much more history. Like I covered a lot in this article, but there's so much more pre-colonized history. Um, there's so much more indigenous history when it comes to Mezcal and when it comes to women's participation in this ancient spirit that we don't get the chance to hear because of colonization, because of basically what's been going on in Palestine right now, just the absolute erasure, the burning of history, of books, um, what's been going on at the universities happened in Tenochtitlan, right? It's just history repeating itself. So I feel so honored to be able to share some of this history. Um, from the mouths of indigenous people to the rest of the world and for it to be recognized. Like, oh my God. So if you guys, I think I've already tagged it up there, but if you wanna learn more about what is in this article, first of all, read the article so that way you have like a base level of information and then go and watch the video that I'm tagging up there. If you're curious about what does it look like to reclaim colonized history? Cause it's a lot of work, thousands of people, not for this article, well, actually, in a way, this article is the, I'm getting notifications on my, it doesn't matter. Thousands of years of history. I feel so honored to be able to steward thousands of years of pre-colonized history and for this to be recognized by, on an international stage. I need to find a dress. I have to find a gown. I need to write a speech. I need to tell my mom. <laughs> okay, so that is all. That is all for right now. If you guys want to like come along dress shopping, like, oh my gosh, I could do vlogs. <gasps> if you guys want me to like do vlogs about like dress shopping and stuff like that, please let me know.
<laughs> okay, so I need to get all of this neurodivergence under control. I can't though, I can't though. It's me, I'm quirky, I'm adorable. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Oh my God. If I have to do this speech, when I tell you there's an auditorium full of people, the CEO of Grey Goose, of Campari, of Absolute, of Sorrel, of literally everybody who is who in the beverage industry, best bartenders in the world, best bar owners in the world, best bar teams internationally. I think there's something like 50 or so countries represented um, in Tales of the Cocktail. Ah. And then I get to be on the floor seat. Ah. I swear to God, if they call my name, if they call my name, I'm gonna have a moment. Oh, it's gonna be given neuro spicy. I can't go off script though. Whatever I say. Who's to say I'm even going to win? Who's to say? Me? I don't know. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. And life is crazy. I started writing about food two years ago. <laughs> I kid you not. I started writing about food in general two years ago. Speechless. So, um, oh, I should have said this at the beginning, but I'm just having such a full-blown moment. Um, don't forget to like or subscribe if you're new here. Um, also, hi. <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Shayna, clearly. Um, I'm a journalist, clearly. I was going to talk a lot about, like, decentering men, child-free living, and all of that. <sighs> I'm also in the process of making, like, a Black Ladies Green book because the world is a wild place, and I've experienced far too much to not share that with the world because, like, this is my job. So if any of that sounds like a vibe, please like, share, subscribe. <laughs> okay, people really need me to like start responding to these emails. So that is all for now. Um, there will be another video later today about like back to the regular scheduled content. Oh, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, 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 okay. I'm fine. I'm gonna stim off camera. All right, bye.